The Thing in the Window Flash Fiction by Graham Downs First published 12 August 2014 Mary's mouth hung open. She wanted to scream, but no sound came out. She wanted to slam the window shut, but her arm wouldn't move. She wanted to turn and run as far away from her room as possible. But she didn't know where to go. The thing would be in the room and upon her before she reached the door. Besides, her feet wouldn't have been able to move if she tried. She was frozen in fear. Hello, Mary. Mary swallowed hard. How do you know my name? Oh, we've met many times before, in your dreams, night after night. It's good to finally meet you in person. As she stared at the beast, with saliva dripping off its fangs, she suddenly knew who it was. Marty, is that you? The thing threw its head back and emitted a deep, slow laugh. Marty is the name your subconscious gave me, child. My name is Siskiyou. Although still frightened, Mary was beginning to regain her senses somewhat. She knew this creature from her dreams, although she knew him as Marty. He was frightening then, but not overtly hostile, and she felt that if she could defeat him in her sleep, she could defeat him here, in the real world. What do you want? she asked. My name, child, my true name, means bringer of souls. I want your soul. Mary thought about this a moment, then snapped, Well, you can't have it. Siskiyou seemed to take a step back, apparently shocked at the audacity of this child. After a moment, he brought his head through the open window, stopping centimeters from Mary's face. Mary's gaze met his, and she found herself unable to move or speak, transfixed by the creature's glowing yellow eyes. The beast opened its gigantic maw and breathed hot, fetid breath into Mary's face. The stench was terrible, unlike anything Mary had ever experienced before. But as she was no longer entranced by Siskiyou's eyes, Mary was able to think quickly. She reached out her left hand and felt for the letter opener that she knew lay on her writing desk. Finding it just within arm's reach, she grabbed it and plunged it into Siskiyou's open maw. The creature screamed and stepped back. It swiped out at Mary's face with a heavy claw, running three deep gashes along her cheek causing her to crash to the floor. Siskiyou reached into his mouth, removed the letter opener and examined it. Blood dripped off the blade. He tossed it away and leaped all the way through into the room. Siskiyou's massive frame covered Mary on the floor and once again she found herself unable to move. And now, he said, your soul. Siskiyou's yellow orb eyes filled Mary's consciousness. Nothing else existed for her. She opened her mouth to scream. A whooshing sound came out instead. And with it, outstreamed a long black trail. The last thing Mary was aware of was her soul being pulled from her body. For more of Graham Downs's writing, visit his website at www.grahamdowns.co.za